your alternative to a whole Thanksgiving turkey is a stuffed turkey breast on the Weber grill with some homemade gravy. You're gonna love it. So we got a uh, turkey breast from the meat department at Ingalls. We're gonna butterfly this into butterfly turkey breast. Essentially, all we're gonna do is start slicing in at about a half an inch, three quarters of an inch. Man, does that look good? I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll chop this piece off right here. And we'll cook that for you, buddy. So we got a nice flat piece of turkey. All right, let's go make some stuffing. We're gonna take sausage, half of this onion, some garlic, and jalapenos. That's it, man. Let that start to brown a little bit. What do you think? What do you think, Joe? Garlic. Can't have any garlic. Then as we start to get done, we're gonna mix them together. Mixing bowl, cornbread. Take this guy, put it right into there just like so. So we get a good mix in there. And then we're gonna set it aside and let it cool down just a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and put this on the grill for Levi. And this piece. Now we got our turkey prepped. What I like to do, so what we're gonna do now is take our stuffing here in the center of this thing. Man, talk about a great alternative to uh, Thanksgiving turkey, you know. We're going to grill this sucker over charcoal. It's going to impress all our guests. You can take the rest of this stuffing and put it in a pan, put it in the oven, heat it back up to at least 165 degrees. Add a little more stuffing mix to it if you want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this turkey breast and we'll roll it just like so. Roll this guy up just like this. Stuff it all the way around just like so. And I like to leave that skin right on there just like that. This olive oil I'll put right here. I'll really rub it down. I want that skin to get nice and crispy. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. <laughs> here we go. Just salt and pepper. But we're going to do it pretty liberally. That. You can use any kind of seasoning you want. If you want to use Italian, use Italian. If you want to use a Cajun, use Cajun. I like just good old salt and pepper crust on here. All right, how are we going to hold this together? Let's cut five pieces of butcher twine. You can get this at your local grocery store. I picked this up at Ingalls Markets. I'm just going to slide this out of the way. Line these up just like so. Levi. Go. All right, and all we're gonna do is simply tie this. There's all kinds of fancy ways to do this, but I just like to do a simple knot in here like that. And we'll trim the extra string off. And this is just simply, I mean, it's obvious what it's gonna do. It's just gonna hold that turkey together, keep all that stuffing inside. Man, look at this Thanksgiving turkey breast. I'm just gonna take this, pop it. All right, so I've got the Weber preheated we're at 437 right now we're going to cook this on indirect heat for until there's an internal temperature of 165 i'm going to put the lid on it and i'm not going to take it off until it's done then we'll take this probe little tool i've got put it right down in the center good deal now we're going to clean this up and we'll start making some gravy Stirring it in. Ooh, yeah. Some bouillon. About one tablespoon of that. You know, making this uh, gravy without turkey drippings, you know, when you grill turkey, you don't have the drippings in the pan like your mom, your grandma, or whoever makes your turkey at Thanksgiving. So you kind of have to use that bouillon to get it started. Oh yeah, it smells like, it's starting to smell like gravy. Oh, 
Smells so good. All right, now we're just going to start pouring in a little water. Heat on that. We're going to pour in some all-purpose flour. Let that flour start to thicken everything up. What do you think, buddy? What do we think? Just keep it on the heat. Keep adding a little water. You want a turkey dinner, don't you? He is a turkey. A big turkey. Just keep stirring. You don't ever want it to burn, man. Just pulled this off the grill. Internal temperature of 165. Pop these darn uh, strings off. Just held them together perfectly. Look at that, buddy. You like the looks of that? And here's the piece I cooked just for my man. Stand back. There we go. All right, for the big reveal. Bam. Look at that. I mean, for Thanksgiving alternative, I'm telling you what, man, it doesn't get any better than this. We're gonna slice this in about half inch slices, and we're gonna put it on this plate with some rice, and we're gonna pull that gravy off the grill right here nice and hot oh yes look at this hot gravy look at the steam coming over there buddy all right stand by my friend and i mean look at this now that skin see that olive oil made that skin nice and crispy you can see that stuffing in there Got that wild rice and that rosemary. Watch this. The final. We made the. What? <laughs> you know that's not sanitary, man. Stand back. And that gravy is going to be good. I'm telling you what. That's your Thanksgiving alternative to a whole bird. Get your grill out, stuff this with sausage and cornbread stuffing, make you a gravy. You're gonna not regret it. Cut this off a piece. Ready? Okay, it's gonna dry a piece of this. Oh, so good.